Hey guys, so this is week 5 in Japan, so crazy, I know. One thing I forgot to mention in my last video was that last Monday, I started applying for colleges, and that's what I did all day, and I'm not sure how I forgot to mention that, but yeah. So I got Penn State done, and that's where I want to go. I really want to go to Penn State. And I also got um, Illinois State done. That's my second choice. I love Illinois State so much. So hopefully, it will. Hopefully, I'll hear something soon because I don't do well with waiting. I'm not a patient person. <laughs> and this week I got Eastern done, which is very exciting. So that means I only have three more to go. <laughs> yeah. I got the U of I, Parkland. And then there's an honors college at Penn State that I really want to apply for. But I've been working on their application literally all week. And I'm really fast at filling out applications. But this is not like, what's your name? What's your address? What's your social security number? What did, we, what did you do in high school? This is three essays that ask the hardest questions ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. So hopefully next week. Or maybe the week after. I have a long time. Maybe I'll draw it out and make sure they're really good. Hopefully they'll get done soon, though. <laughs> anyway, so on Tuesday, my host parents took me via the Shinkansen, which um, in America we call it the bullet train, um, to Osaka. And the bullet train goes about 250 kilometers per hour, which I looked up the conversion, and that's about 155 miles an hour. Pretty fast. Pretty wicked. It looks legit. Anyway, so we got to Osaka, and then we went to Universal Studios. Oh, it was so awesome! When we got there, there was a parade within like five minutes. It was awesome. It was this Mardi Gras Halloween theme, and they had people like walking on stilts and masks. Everybody was wearing masks, and they all had really awesome costumes, and they were singing, and it was just like, yeah. Love Universal Studios. And then I waited in line for this ride, and because I thought when um, I got in, like, to wait, it was it said 45 minutes, but then one of the carts broke down, and I had to wait for over two hours. <laughs> I was so bummed. I was like, oh, I was going to ride like three rides and it was going to be great. And no, I only got to ride one. But that was okay. It was really fun. And then after I got out, um, we kind of looked around in some of the shops and um, there were, I got, oh, I got this really cute thing for my jacket and it has, it has a pink panther on it and it's sitting on a Universal Studios like, ball, like globe thing. It's adorable. And yeah. And then after that, there was the Magical Starlight Parade, and then, so it was dark, and all of the rides were, like, lit up, and, no, what rides? <laughs> all the floats were all lit up, and it was so pretty. I took so many pictures. Oh, I loved it. And then we went back to our hotel, and then the next morning on Wednesday, we had breakfast at the hotel. And they had like American style breakfast, and so I had, uh, not, I, had <laughs> I had waffles with syrup and peanut butter, and I had scrambled eggs and cereal and yogurt and fruit and a muffin, and it was so beautiful. I love, love breakfast food. That is my favorite. Oh, love breakfast food. Anyway. And then my host parents took me shopping, and we, one of the, like, second and third things that we did, we kind of, like, walked around for a while, um, we went, and there was a Turkish ice cream stand, and if you've never had Turkish ice cream, go to Turkey right now, get some Turkish ice cream and come back. It's so good. It is, like, really stretchy and really creamy, and when they do it, it's in, generally, there's only chocolate and vanilla, um, Sometimes there's more, but the both times that I've had it, it's been chocolate or vanilla. And so they're in, like, these tubs that are, like, that big. And then you get it out with this, like, really long pole thing that has, like, a paddle on the end. And you're just like, <sighs> Anyway, the guy that was doing it was hilarious. And he would, like, he would, like, mess 
frowned at you for a little bit before he gave you your ice cream. <laughs> like, he was like, like, he had the ice cream, like, under the paddle. Like, you know how at Dairy Queen, they hand you your, uh, thing upside down? Well, it's kind of like that, except it's like, it was like the cone and then the ice cream and then the paddle. And he would, like, shove it out in front of you, and you'd try and grab it, and he's like, no, not today. <laughs> he would just, like, mess with you, and then one time, he, 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 like, shoved it in my face, and I didn't back away fast enough, and so he got it on my nose, he was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> it was really funny. And then, my host dad and I went on a boat tour, and ugh, they had this, um, like, a canal thing. I don't really know what water is called. I know what the river is. I know what the ocean is. I don't really know what that was. It was kind of like a, like a water street. Like that in Venice. Yeah, in Venice. It was like a water street thing. Anyway, and so we took a little tugboat and around and we got to see some pretty cool things. There was some weird things and some cool things. A little different. And then, oh, we were at this shop. There was, okay, so there's a whole bunch of shops. And my host said was like, I'm gonna buy you some shoes because there's like shoe shops everywhere. And he's like, I'm gonna buy you some shoes. And I was like, okay. And so we went in this store and we looked around. We looked at every shoe in that store, and not a one of them was big enough. I've never had this problem in my life. My feet are an eight and a half size, and that is the average size in America. Here. That is considered extra large, and they don't make those for normal stores. You have to specially order them unless you go to, like, an actual store that's not, a, like, a little side shop thing. Anyway, but yeah, it was saddening. And then we got um, a funny drawing. My host mom and I got a funny drawing of us done. I think it's called a caricature? I don't really know how to say it, but this is it. It, it actually looks really awesome, and the artist, I was wearing that earring that I was wearing, um, in the last video, and so she drew it like I had, like, a bunch of piercings, so I was like, oh, that looks so cool. I'm gonna have to do that someday, when I have lots of money and time, and I can do that. <laughs> and eventually, we came back home, um, via the Shinkan Zen again, and it's, it's so fun, like, it's just, like, you're just, like, moving, and you, it's so quiet, and it's really cool. Anyway, and then we had dinner in the train station, and I don't really know what I ate, that's a pretty common theme, but it was good, and then we took a taxi home, and I'd never ridden in a taxi, and it was so exciting, because the door opened by itself. What? I know, I was like, I went to open the door, and it just like opened, and I was like, whoa. He's like, the driver was like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it was funny. And then on Thursday, not really much happened. Um, I finally got a semi-permanent schedule for school, so I know what's going to happen today, which is really nice. On Friday, Sarah was in there because she had her rotary meeting. And so Sister Margaret, um, the sister from California, came and talked to me about my schedule and said we are going to change some things. Um, and then told me about all the clubs and sports and stuff that the school has. And so, I think I'm going to do cooking club, this bug is interesting to see. I'm going to do cooking club, um, hopefully, and maybe there's this other club called WITH, and they do a lot of volunteer stuff, and sometimes they do really cool things, so we'll see about WITH too. Um, yeah, that's really bad all that happened. On Saturday, we went to Osako school for a festival, and she's on the cheer team, and they did, they had a really awesome cheer, and... They got to do basket tosses, and there's like a bunch of really awesome stunts, and I love basket tosses. Love them. They are my favorite thing ever, and I've gotten to do them like twice in my life, because you have to have mats and stuff for when you do it in the gym and safety, and <laughs> anyway. Um, all the rooms were awesome, and my host mom was like, here, this girl's American, take pictures with her, and so all of... All the chillers just like, okay! And so we had like a million pictures taken, and it was like, it was famous. America has its perks. <laughs> anyway, and so, my host sister's sister, um, I say that because she doesn't live with us. Um, she came to, and she brought her two daughters, who are six and nine, and we played a bunch of games when we got home, and 
they beat me hardcore. Like, it was embarrassing how badly they destroyed me. I'm pretty good at games in general, but it was, it was sad. <laughs> and then we went to Italian for dinner, and it was so good. I had this creamy pasta with salmon and deliciousness. It was awesome. Um, Sunday, I tried to do Skype with my dad, and that didn't work because he was at his parents, and his Wi-Fi was not very good because they live out in the woods. And so I got to see most of my family, which was actually very exciting for like a second, and they were all blurry and fuzzy, and it was great. <laughs> um, I got my winter uniform for school, which is very handy right now because, you know, it's like 90 degrees still. I love the heat and the humidity. It's great. Anyway, so I tried to write, like, tried to actually start my essays for the um, Penn State um, Honors College, and that didn't work out. I just kind of procrastinated and watched Zombieland twice. <laughs> On Monday, today, we didn't have school. I don't know why. I don't ask why. Um, I talked to Aunt Rebecca, and she was asking me all about food and deliciousness, and I was like, yes, the food here is so great. It's so great. I love it. We eat a lot of fish. There's so much fish. And a lot of seafood, and I've never really been a seafood person. I've had shrimp several times, so it's getting better. Um, then I met uh, my host sister's friend, Yuri, and Yuri and I went shopping, and we went to, there's a lot of American stores. Um, we went to Old Navy and H&M, and then a couple of Japanese stores, there was a big, um, mall thing that was, like, stacked on, there was, like, a, there was just, like, a bunch of floors and so much stuff, it was amazing. And so we just kind of walked around there, nothing, the problem is that none of the, like, Japanese clothes fit me very well, because I'm not Japanese. All of the Japanese people, specifically girls, I mean guys too, but these girls are so skinny. And I'm obviously not skinny for anyone that knows me. And, like, I'm not fat, but I'm not skinny. And these girls are just, like, sticks, like, skin and bones, and that's it. And I'm just like, no, I can't do that. No. Anyway. But, so, some of their clothes are just frightening on me. <laughs> anyway, so then we went to Starbucks, and I had beautiful Starbucks. And then into one of the photo booths, and those are so fun. I love them so much. Oh, if... If I could bring one to America, I would. Trust me, guys. <laughs> and then we, we went and karaoke and it was so fun. I've never karaoke Is that a word? Karaoke. <laughs> done karaoke. Let's be correct about this, Robin. Um, I've never done that before. And the way that this one worked was you went in, like, this little room, and then you picked, you got to, like, you kind of typed in your songs, and if they had it, then they had it, and if they didn't, they didn't. Um, and then you had a microphone and you could sing it and the music was really loud and so you didn't really sound that bad. <laughs> but it was so fun! Oh, I loved it. I'm doing it again. And, oh, it was so awesome. And then when I got back, we went to dinner and we sat Japanese style, which is you have like a little mat on the floor with a, a low table. And I can sit across like for a really long time. But my legs decided that today was not the day that that was going to happen. So my legs were sitting there, like, getting all, like, the dead feeling, like, creeping up my leg very slowly. And I'm just like, oh, no. And I tried to stand up, and I almost fell over. It was really funny. But, yeah, so that was this week. And hopefully next week will be nearly as exciting because Japan is great and awesome. And I will see you guys next week.